What's up guys, it's your boy Rich here, back at it again. And so is Spinnaker, back at it again, with her all new Hull Chronograph. Let's go. And here it is in 42 millimeters, 50 from lug to lug, 15.6 millimeters tall, and yes, I know, I know, uh, it does sound alarming, but I don't think it wears as tall as the specs appear on paper. And it's with a 22 millimeter lug width. And the Hull Chronograph is an extension of Spinnaker's Hull lineup, and I think they did a nice job at making an attractive chronograph. And like all Spinnakers which have nautical roots, the Hull Chronograph does not use the diver markers that are typically found on the bezel inserts of dive watches. Instead, they use a tachometer to support the chronograph functions. The finishing is mostly polished with some brushed around the bezel inlay and the lugs. And, you know, like in typical Spinnaker fashion, they did a really nice job at making an attractive dial. You know, Spinnaker is known for making some cool and vibrant dials that make the watch look a lot more expensive than they are. And this model has or uses two different dial layers. The bottom layer is basically made up of Swiss Super Luminova and the top layer is for the cutouts to show the loom. Basically we could refer to this as a sandwich dial. And speaking of dials, my favorite feature on this dial would have to be the large date window. I think it makes it look very attractive. I just like large date windows. The registers are at 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9. And the central second hand is used for the timer. And this is where it gets interesting, and we'll cover more of that in just a second. The register at 9 o'clock is for the 60-minute register. Now, the register at 6 o'clock, this is where we you can probably tell where I'm going with this. We can see that it is ticking. And that's because this is not an automatic movement. This is what they call the Mecha Quartz being powered by the Seiko Quartz movement. And they call it Mecha Quartz because... Uh, what I touched on earlier, which is the central seconds hand there, that is used as a timer, but it does not tick away the way that a quartz movement does, and I'll show you what I mean. Spinnaker did a nice job at choosing to use screw-down pushers, which is a very nice touch. So the top pusher will set the timer, so here we go. And there it goes. We can see it sweeping away just like it would uh, as if it was an automatic movement. The top pusher will also stop it. The bottom pusher will reset it. And there it goes. Let me just screw these back in. I do quite like the, the touch of the screw down pushers. So I think Spinnaker did a very nice job at creating a very attractive and really well made watch. Uh, the leather strap, this is a genuine leather strap and like a lot of Spinnakers, it is waterproof. There is their branding on the buckle. It is not a cheap, flimsy leather strap. It is hand stitched, and here are the uh, the what do you call the parts that are easily recognizable whenever there is a hand stitched leather. And it is a nicely thick piece of leather that is lined in canvas. And I am a really big fan of that. Whenever a leather strap is either lined in canvas or rubber, because I just think it extends the life of the leather strap a lot longer. So yeah, I just sang the praises of how attractive this watch is. And, you know, in like a lot of Spinnaker watches, it is well made. So is there anything that I would point out that is my least favorite part of this watch? Yes. And we're looking at it right now. You see, it has a slightly domed crystal, but that crystal is not a sapphire crystal. It is what Spinnaker refers to as a sapphire hardened mineral crystal, but it is still a mineral crystal. For me, it isn't as big of a deal because I baby my watches, but I still would prefer a sapphire crystal for the peace of mind. Uh, you know, I know the counter argument would be, well, for a couple hundred dollars, and the retail price of the Hull Chronograph is just $235. So as I started to say, the counter argument would be, well, for a couple hundred dollars, it's something that we would have to accept or just agree to, meaning the mineral crystal. But I would counter the counter with saying that I've seen some watches that are priced less than uh, the Spinnaker Hall chronograph that still uses a sapphire crystal. Though the counter to the counter to the counter would be, well, maybe the rest of the watch isn't as well made as a Spinnaker. And that's where I would have to end the counter because I would have to agree uh, with, that, with that statement. 
Spinnaker did a nice job with attention to detail, such as the screw down pushers. Uh, there, I forgot to mention the crown is signed. A nice piece of leather for the strap, an attractive dial in typical Spinnaker fashion. So there is a lot to like about the Hulk chronograph. I wouldn't even call or refer to the Mecha Quartz as a deficiency or as a shortcoming for a watch because a lot of us watch enthusiasts prefer a Quartz or at least a Mecha Quartz. For me, I am not generally a Quartz fan. There are always exceptions. On the Hulk Chronograph, I don't mind the ticking tick-tock uh, at 6 o'clock because it isn't as obvious as if the the main tick-tock would be from the, the central seconds hand. So it's not as obvious to me, so it doesn't bother me nearly as much. Again, and I don't mean to beat a dead horse, it is the mineral crystal that seems to be the only shortcoming for me when it comes to an otherwise really attractive watch uh, that is the Spinnaker Hull Chronograph. So if we're looking for uh, another Spinnaker, Spinnaker that is well-made, that is priced very uh, attractively at $235, that uses a lot of uh, nice materials such as the leather being lined in canvas. There is a nice look at their solid case back with the Spinnaker logo. And that uses a Seiko Mecha Quartz to power the watch. Then I think the Hull Chronograph can be a nice option for us. This watch happens to go on sale today, so I will leave a link to it in the description. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you the next time. And I'm back at it again, and so is... And I'm back at it again, and so is Spinnaker. Back at it again. And so is... Sp Was there all new Hulk... Yeah.